Hello guys, my name is Shadow. and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, I'm here to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy, the last movie of the trilogy. I saw the movie recently and here are my thoughts about it. The movie is close to perfect. I would have to say a 10 out of 10. If you are going to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 without seeing the two other movies, then you have to wait and watch the two movies first and then watch the third because it won't make any sense at all. I would like to start off that this movie was not really what I expected with the first two movies. It was all happy and exciting and this one gives off some kind of sad feeling or something it gives you that feeling that like you know this is gonna be like the last movie that you're gonna see them the movie started off quick with action and Guardians of the Galaxy 3 I didn't watch any trailers because Marvel likes to spoil movies and trailers but the movie was emotional and Marvel is really messing with our feelings in this movie like when Peter Quill nearly dies just because he wasted a few seconds for an mp3 player. Also when Peter Quill revives Rocket from that kind of afterlife thing, kind of afterlife thing. That scene was in my opinion the top three saddest scenes in the MCU in my opinion. It's right up there with Tony Stark's death in Avengers Endgame and when half of the Avengers died slash blipped when Thanos snapped the Infinity Gauntlet in Avengers Infinity War. And also when Captain America crashed the plane to save New York and the city. And Captain America the first Avenger. I think it's great that we finally get a Rocket backstory because we never really knew where he came from actually. It's funny because this film is the first movie in the MCU that has set an F-bomb in. I'm not gonna lie here, there are some boring parts in the movie but you have to pay attention because you know, it will get better of course. Critics say that that this movie is the best movie since Avengers Endgame. I'm going to have to say I disagree with that. Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, Tobey Maguire, and uh, Andrew Garfield. I, I mean, that's enough, I should say. Like, I don't have to say anything else. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 it is up there with uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, but um, it doesn't beat it, in my opinion. On top of that... We have Gamora's return, and they say it's a variant of her, which leaves us with many questions with the variant questions. I would just like to wonder, how did they get a variant of her? Hmm. This movie was pretty much all about Rocket. It wasn't really saving the galaxy in this movie. It was just about saving Rocket. But like around the end of the movie is where they did work together and save it when Rocket got saved. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3, please let me know what you guys think about it. Please give me your thoughts, and I will talk to you guys in the comments below. We'll, we'll talk about it. Thank you guys for watching this video of me reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy 3, guys. And make sure you guys go like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. Peace. See ya. Through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun